Mr. Smith was chairman of Florida Power and Light. He invited our family to come up and use his cabin on Blue Springs in the Ocala National Forest on the Oklawaha. And this is my sister Mary paddling Blue Springs right out in front of the cabin. It was a beautiful wooded area, crystal clear springs. And behind her, you can see off in the distance, there's a little creek that led uh, to the Oklawaha River. It was beautiful and remote. And we got there by way of this ferry. Um, there was a guy who had a little work boat attached to a ferry and you would beep your horn and he would come across and get you. Um, he just now is raising the cable so he can bring the ferry to us. He had a cable that he raised and lowered. Of course he had to lower it so other boats could go by but when a car was coming he would raise that cable and that would guide the, ca the ferry across. You can vaguely see the cable line. There it is to the left. There's a hunk of weeds uh, hanging on it. And he's in his kicker now, uh, his little motorboat, and he's uh, coming over to pick up my family. We're actually on the Blue Springs side of the, of the Oklawaha at this point, and we're headed to Orange Springs uh, to go to the grocery store. So he, there he is. You can see him in his kicker. And what he's going to do is uh, jump out of there and uh, run over and lower this front deck. He had a little pipe that he kicked up and that would lower that onto the beach uh, so you could ride your car on it and then he'll he'll just swing his kicker around and push it back the other way. Um, and this is in slow motion. He was really really fast and you can see him running around in his sandals and cigarette in his mouth. This shows the sign uh, over the gate as you come into Blue Springs property. Um, and this is showing the cabin looking over the springs towards the cabin. And there was this beautiful long dock, sometimes parts of it were underwater, that went out right to the springs and a diving board and you could jump in and you could fish off the dock. Uh, and we did catch a lot of fish there. And this is a really beautiful shot. It shows the rowboat and the springs right in front of us where those clouds are. And then off in the distance was a little trail that you would paddle to to get to the river. We were playing the springs when the alligator wasn't there. And then as you paddle out towards the Oklawaha, you'd see these beautiful woods. The first time I ever saw a cypress sneeze. And here you are at the Oklawaha River. Uh, September 1960. Looks a little different today. I think I see the, the boil of the springs right just in front of us. You can hear the great sound of an airboat behind us. It used, used to be um, Blue Springs here. It used to be this gorgeous, crystal clear, beautiful spring that I swam in as a child. First came here in 1961. And up on this bluff behind us, at least I think that's where it was, uh, was a cabin that was owned by Mr. Smith that we used to stay in. Um, and it was way out in the wilderness. It took us hours by jeep and ferry and, and clay road to get here. And we stayed out here just for three weeks, just totally isolated in this beautiful place. Um, and there was a house up there and a dock that came out and crystal clear blue springs. And now you can see that um, with the cross Florida Barge Canal that the, the spring is no longer here. This waterway was flooded, the Oklawaha was flooded uh, with the Rodman Dam, of course. And uh, this is the, the result. When I was here in 61, this was all woods and uh, we would come out and swim in the springs and we'd get in the canoe and it was quite a paddle through these woods, dense cypress woods, uh, till we got to the Oklawaha River. And as you can see now, it's, it's more or less a, a cypress graveyard, just kind of white skeletal remains of the cypress. And uh, that's about it. This is what the Oklawaha looks during a drawdown and hopefully someday It'll be restored.